Hey y'all, one of the things that's going on is the 1980 Toyota pickup is leaking oil and this video is going to show you some of the process of how we diagnosed exactly what is going on. We found out that the truck's oil pan gasket appears to be leaking oil back when I took it in to get the exhaust done. And so right now you're seeing some footage of the oil pan before I cleaned it up, before I did anything to it. So it's, it's grimy and it's wet and it looks like the oil pan gasket is leaking. But we noticed that it appears the oil was collecting most significantly down by the drain plug. And I kind of started thinking that maybe the oil was dripping right out of the drain plug. And so this video is going to show you how we differentiated the source of the oil leak and what we found in the process of looking at that. And so it's going to be a little bit longer and it's we don't know at the beginning of all this footage exactly what's going on, but you're going to see as we discover what exactly is wrong with this truck and why there's more oil leaking than just what's leaking out of the oil pan gasket. All right, y'all. So as we've shown, the majority of the oil is collecting down here right near the drain plug and it looks like it is leaking from the drain plug. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop this oil and then we're gonna compare the size of this drain plug to the, the new drain plugs that we got and see what we're dealing with. Just dropped the oil on the truck and here's what we got going on. This is the drain plug that was on the truck with the 19 millimeter head. This is the drain plug we got from the dealership with the 24 millimeter head. And what we can see is Here's the one right here from the smaller size one from LC Engineering. So we know that the smaller one is not the right size. We can tell just by looking at it. All right, these two are both about 18 millimeters on the threaded side. Now we think just by looking at them that, hang on, let's try not to lose them. We think that the threading is slightly different. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. We're not 100% sure, so what I'm gonna do is get under the truck and see if this new drain plug indeed has the same threads as this, or if it goes up in there right. But either way, this was the old crush gasket and it is worn out. You can see it's, it's even warped. You can see it's warped. So this may have been the source of the leak at the drain plug, it's possible. Uh, it's possible that the threading on this one is slightly wrong. Hopefully not. Let's get under there and find out. Well, I'm just going to bring a thread tracer out here to uh, 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 measure the number of threads per inch on your on the uh, the, the new drain plug. And way, the way you do that is here it is at 16 threads per inch on this right on this this side right here. And in noticing looking at it, you can see that it goes in the see it going in there but 16 threads per inch and 16 threads per inch on your old one. All right, I'm looking at the surface where the uh, drain plug gasket meets the bottom of the oil pan uh -huh. and I'm not feeling... You don't see any defect. Uh, actually, you know what, man? There is. Wipe it off, then, so you. Get I, I just did. I just did. You're you're speaking on something that I just did. Um. There there is a a dent in it. Uh, a dent. Yeah. A dent. There's a little a little uh almost like a W in in one spot right where the. Does it go all the way from the inside of the hole to the outside of the flange? I'm gonna take a picture of this, man. Hang on, that's what's gonna have to happen here. That's not a dent, there's a whole, the whole thread is broken right there. The thread, that, that was not supposed to have it. it. Somebody either cracked it over tightening it years ago. Uh huh. Or, or I don't know what other explanation I can give you. I was trying to see whether it's even loose. Let me see if I can feel that. There's like almost a hole in the threads. It, it is. It's broken all the way through. I can see it. Now, it's fixable 
but you'd have to have the oil paying off and I could braise that up and it would be the end of it. But that damn area right there is exactly where it ought to be sealing. And if you notice, it's shiny all the way, all the way to outside. Mm -hmm. Now a new gasket may seal that, all right? Mm -hmm. The next thing is, and, and this, this is for you to decide, but it's not a real big damn thing. Let me see if I can make this light work. <sighs> Trying to look up inside the hole with your motor to see what kind of dirt might be up in there. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna suggest to you that we put a thin coat of gasket cinch on the damn oil pan side of the drain plug. Uh huh. Now that's not something you normally do, but this is not a normal vehicle. This is an antique vehicle. And I believe that would probably stop the leak. Now, when you go to change the oil, the gasket may just stay stuck on the oil. It's not irretrievably stuck on there. Gasket cinch is not that strong. Uh -huh. But it will seal this damn leak right now. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And all, all that's going to happen is you're going to get underneath here, and, and I'm going to hand you the... Uh, the drain plug with some gasket cinch on the oil pan side of the gasket and you go stick it up in here, assuming it goes in the hole, which you get ready to check that out. Uh, here's where we are. I'm gonna try and show you guys this hole in the threads without getting oil on the camera. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah, we, we're saying that that is not supposed to have that hole in the threads right there. And if you look, it's crimped a little bit right there at the end. So this is the source of the oil leak right here. I think that's about as good as a shot I can get of it. Now, what, what I'm speculating is that somebody might have put an impact wrench on this thing and just broke a little piece off right in there. Which may be in the bottom of this oil pan. I'm not sure. This is not the best of circumstances, but alas, that is the reason that this is leaking oil. What I want to show you guys next is that this plug does fit in here. So it's kind of hard while I'm looking at the camera, but that does fit and it'll go all the way up in there. I, you know, I'm not sure if it's going to continue to leak, but ultimately I think, yes, it will. All right. What we did was we put a new drain plug on there and because of that spot where the threads were broken, we put a gasket sealant around the drain plug gasket just enough so that it kind of beat it up a bit is red red sealant so it's just going to seal that that drain plug gasket on there better uh and then what i did is i took a rag and i ran it all the way around the oil pan gasket on both sides sorry i'm not under there on the creeper anymore and then i wiped all sorts of grime off of the bottom end down here and we're gonna see if this oil pan gasket is really the leak or if the main source of the leak was in fact what i believe is that was that drain plug with the screwed up threads or, or not the drain plug but where the drain plug screws into the oil pan the threads on the bottom of the oil pan for the drain plug so hopefully what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fill it back up with oil and i think we're gonna be able to see one uh i cleaned up the the oil pan enough that if that oil pan gasket is leaking, we're going to see that and we're going to get to see what's going on here. So there you go. One week later. All right. It's been about a week or more since I've been underneath this truck. And the last time I was under here, I really cleaned this oil pan up so we could see if the actual oil pan itself, or the oil pan gasket is leaking. And what it looks like is it's a little bit wet in the front. I'm seeing a little bit of oil right there. And then I'm seeing oil around some of the bolts on the oil pan gasket. But for the most part, there are places where it's real dry. 
bear with me folks pretty dry in the back again I cleaned all that up and then you can see where it is leaking at the drain plug where we found that hole in the bottom of the oil pan where the threads were let me get a rag hang on guys oh it's tight under here okay See, it's pretty dry on this side, but yeah, it does look like this is going to be a job where the oil pan needs to be replaced, especially since I am seeing, I am seeing it wet at the front. That's pretty much a sure thing right there. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah, that was, I cleaned that up pretty properly before. So that's gotten wet since the first, first time we cleaned under here. take a look see what else we can see one of the things I was thinking I might replace is uh these bushings on the steering damper the bushings on the steering damper have kind of roached out so the bushings on the steering damper then we got the bushing on the rear lower control arm has roached out and let's see if that's the same on both sides um, actually yep so there's the other side. Rear lower control arm bushings could serve to be replaced. The torsion bars themselves don't look too bad. I saw a, a website that offers replacements on those, but who knows if they really need that, to be honest with you. The boots actually look pretty good. The boots on the torsion bars, if I were to replace them, I think those boots could be reused.